It's back to school with Phil Stocks Guru. Where learning leads to earning. Tara! Araw tayo! So, hi guys! Uh, thank you very much first and foremost uh, sa patuloy na panonood for the likes, the shares, and uh, the subscribe. Uh, for those who haven't subscribed yet, please do click the uh, subscribe button uh, so that you will be updated with our educational videos. I do want to uh, give a special mention to these guys. We have Lloyd Wilbert Calalo, Alice M, uh, Jeffrey Zapata, uh, Prill Life, uh, Thomas Obligar Jr., uh, Nathan Rebol, Alvin Pan, uh, Van Bulen, and Makui. So thank you very much po talaga for supporting. Uh, so, kamusta na guys? So, ako, ito, uh, may sakit. Uh, na papansin naman siguro sa bosses ko but nonetheless uh, I really want to teach you guys so uh, we'll continue on with the discussion so uh, kayo kamusta naman hopefully you're doing well with your trades kakatapos lang po ng isang buwan we're already in the month of May so uh, nung April uh, as of April 30 2019 the uh, local market was up by 486.70 points or uh, that's around 6.50% uh, hopefully nakasabay kayo or much better sana you were able to beat the market uh, so uh, ayun uh, medyo magsishift gears po tayo ngayon we're still going to be focusing on the market's concepts the market's principles uh, mga things that we have to learn pero at the same time i believe kasi na mas matututo tayo if we're going to put things into application so uh, we're still we're still going to be on a learning series but at the same time we'll dwell more into the application portion of uh, of the show uh, in this show okay so uh the, uh, one of the things that I'm looking into now is uh, Semirara Mining and Power Corporation or simply Semirara. And if you're going to look at this company, it seems like a good technical buy. So, bakit nga ba? Let's see. Okay, so first of all, alamin muna natin, sino ba tong si Semirara? Semirara is the uh, mining arm of BMC Holdings. Though, uh, uh, late, ano rin, it's a mining arm, pero nag-expand na rin siya, or nag-diversify na rin siya into power generation. And as of 2012, more or less, half na nung revenues ni Semirara is uh, generated through its power segment. Okay? So, uh, Semirara does have uh, subsidiaries. So, uh, nandiyan na si uh, Sem Kalaka Power Corporation. You also have Southwest Luzon Power Corporation uh, and uh, Southeast Luzon Power Generation Corporation. All of, the, all of these are complementing its mining operations in Kaluya at UK. So, nakita ko, nasabi ko nga sa inyo kanina that uh, Semirara seems like a good bet if we're gonna look at it technically. So, tignan natin ano bang meron kay Semirara. The first thing kasi that I've noticed with Semirara is yung kanyang breakouts. It's breakouts from its moving averages. So, tignan, lang, tignan natin yung chart niya, okay? And then, uh, uh, now, uh, after uh, if we're gonna look at its chart, makikita natin na nung April 8th, so, uh, SCC was able to break above its 20-day moving average, okay? And uh, it closed that day at 21.60. Pero hindi pa doon natatapos. The day, uh, the next day, patuloy pa yung uh, pag-angat ni Semerara until it broke above its 50-day moving average. And finally, another day, it was able to break above its 100-day moving average. Now, remember remember the lesson here. Uh, or remember the concept. Fifth, uh, moving averages are your dynamic support and resistances. They can serve as your dynamic support and resistance levels. Now, if you break above a certain moving average, from being a resistance, it now, uh, it now, its role reverses into a support level. Now, what's the rule in technical, uh, in technical analysis, or what's the rule in trading? The rule is you buy at support levels. Okay. Now, given that Semirara was able to uh, break above its moving averages and uh, make it as uh, support levels. 
this may already be a good time. Uh, it may already be a, a, I'm sorry, it may already be a good buy for Semirara. But to confirm, we'll have to look at other technical indicators. So first, ang titignan natin is yung kanyang, uh, uh, what we call this, yung kanyang volume. If you will see yung volume niya that uh, during the days that I was talking about a while ago, so it was fairly strong. The transactions was averaging uh, was averaging by uh, 2.06 million uh, turnover po yung daily turnover and it was from April 8 to April 17. The days before that, the average was just around 793,000. And next, if titignan naman natin yung kanyang on balance volume, uh, well, unay, unayin muna natin is yung kanyang stochastics. If titignan natin yung stochastics niya, uh, pababa na siya but it's still near overbought levels. And then if we're going to look at its on balance volume, makikita naman natin na it's still in accumulation phase so pataas pa rin siya. So it's still showing strong uh, signals of accumulation. And uh, finally, if titignan naman natin is yung kanyang MACD, so the momentum is, uh, the, it's still moving upward, so the momentum is still there. So uh, it's still above uh, above the signal line and the zero line. So, base sa lahat ng mga nakita natin, what we can do here is trade Semerara. So I'm giving it a support of 22.50 and a uh, resistance of 24.70. So we can trade it at these levels. So you buy at 22.50, then you sell at 24.70. Now this is a little less about a 10% spread, not bad. Now, if it so happens na Semirara is able to break above 24.70, meaning malakas yung momentum niya sa pagtaas niya, then its next resistance is going to be 26.60. You now have a new trading range from 24.70 to 26.60. And finally, if talaga yung 26.60 kakayanin pa rin niya, then it can reach ha as high as 29 pesos. So that's it for Semerara. Hope you learned today guys. Thank you very much.